So, so here's what is, what's so interesting right now is that change is so constant and uncertainty at some level is, is sort of this part of this new norm. And, and, and at some level, as a human being, naturally, that creates fear. And it's scary for people to wake up every day and navigate change and, 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 and know that there is probably at some level more change forthcoming. You know, as leaders, as as individuals inside of teams, here, here's a couple thoughts on the kinds of things I think we need to do to support people inside of this world that we're living in with constant change. You know, one is shoot straight, right? Shoot straight with people. You know, Tom Izzo was a guy that I represented forever, the head coach at Michigan State. And, and, and there were times in Tom's career, and this is public knowledge, where we looked at other jobs. We looked at MBA jobs. We looked at other college jobs. We looked at other jobs. And, and, and one of the things that Tom always said to me, and I love him, is, dude, just shoot me straight. I mean, if, if they don't want me, if they're not interested in me, if they, just tell me the truth. Be straight with me. What our people need right now. Is, 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 is be honest with them, be straight with them. That's what I found with all the athletes that I worked with all the time. Because guess what? We live in a world where it's hard to be straight sometimes, right? It's, it's hard to deliver that news, but guess what? That is what people, if we do it with love and we do it with kindness, that's what they want. So be candid and straight. You know, you know as, as, as individuals, as we navigate change, sometimes it's gonna work, sometimes it isn't. Own it, own it. One of the things I saw with the best athletes and coaches in the world is when things work, cool. When they didn't, they owned it. They fell right on that sword and they moved on and they learned from it. Own it. You know, as leaders, as, as we support people that are navigating this sort of endless barrage of change, take care of them. Recognize that these are human beings with hearts and souls and families and kids and spouses and you know, and, and, and it's hard. And, and everybody that walks in to the work that they do every day has stuff. They got stuff. They got stuff going on in their lives, personally, preferred. they got stuff. Check in with them. You know, one of the things I do Monday morning, I have a, a team meeting with my team. And one of the things that I often do is, is check in with them. And I say, you know, hey, we're going to go around and we're going to just talk about, you know, and, and, and I'm not like overly touchy-feely, but I'll just throw this out. I say, Hey, get, let's just do a little quick check-in. Where are you mentally, emotionally, physically, you know, and spiritually, and relationally in your world? And and boy, as a leader, it gives me a really good sense of how they're doing. And, and are there things going on in their life that I need to be aware of so that I can be gentle and be supportive as I need to be? So find ways to check in with your people consistently because they're human beings that are navigating change with families and other people besides their work <laughs> that matter to them. So support them, love them. And, and then the other thing, when we think about resilience, when we think about navigating change that I think is important, I had Billy Horschel, you know, we just, you know, are, are sort of wrapping up the PGA Tour sort of main season. And, and I had Billy Horschel on my podcast, a really obviously successful golfer out on tour. And, you know, Billy said, guys always used to love playing practice rounds with Tiger, right? Because what, a, I mean, to, to sit there and have two and a half hours, which is all it takes for these guys to play practice round with Tiger, is pretty cool. And so Billy was walking with Tiger and he told me this. He said, you know, he, he would say to Tiger, hey man, this is how I prepare for tournaments. This is what I do. And Billy said, like, I lay in bed and I, and I visualize the tournament. You know, I visualize, you know, Thursday, right, going low, 64, draining putts, right, hitting fairways, right? I mean, all that. You know, Friday going low, hitting fairways. I shoot 64, 65 every day, and I end up on Sunday with a trophy over my head. It's a great week. That's what, I, that's what Billy said. Look, I lay in bed, and, and, and that's what I visualize. And, and Tiger goes, dude, that's awesome. Good for you. But do me a favor. <laughs> He said, visualize yourself on Friday afternoon having to hit fairways and, and, and greens to make the cut. Visualize yourself having to get up and down on a, from a trap to make the cut. Visualize yourself on Sunday with a 25-foot putt to, to tie for a playoff, right? Visualize yourself, basically is what Tiger was saying to Billy, in really difficult moments, but then visualize yourself recovering. 
You know, one of the things we hear so often is visualize all the great things, all the great moments, all the great stuff. Well, guess what? It isn't always going to work, particularly in light of change, inside of change. When we're leaning into new things, when we're leaning into change, it isn't always going to work. That's okay. Visualize yourself recovering. You know what we need? We know what our teams need right now more than ever is resilience. Resilience is this is this thing that we need inside of all of us because it's natural inside of change to feel, you know, pain, to be afraid, to be scared. But what the best do, I saw this in 18 years as an agent, what the very best do is they step inside of change, believe that they can become better from it. They step inside of those moments of change and they say, you know what? If I step into this, the person that can come on the out the other side of this is better. And, and, and you know what they believe is that, yeah, it might not always work out great. That's okay. The world would call it failure. You know what I call failure feedback? That's all it is. You know, when the world would call it failure, it's just feedback. So here's my challenge to you. Show up. Show up when it's hard. Show up when it's hard and marry that with some level of being able to be gentle on yourself along the way. I took so many phone calls from guys on their way to the ballpark when they were pitching that night. John Smoltz would call me on the way to his ballpark when he was pitching, when, on the way to the ballpark when he was pitching that night. And, and, and the amount of things that were going on in, in his life off the field was enormous, whether it was a physical issue, a personal issue. But you know what he did? He was resilient. He always would step on that mound, not for himself, but for his team, and he would deliver. You know, the amount of things that Ernie Johnson, an, an unbelievable human being, who's unbelievable on TV and what he does, but he's even a better guy, the amount of things pulling on EJ in his life personally, and, and, and yet his ability to step into that booth you know, anchored by Charles <laughs> and, 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 and do what he does and do it so well is, um, is, is, is unbelievable. But you know what it's anchored in? It's, in? it's anchored in resilience. It's anchored in the ability to navigate change. So here's what I would challenge you to do is to recognize that, yes, there's short-term pain in life and that can be challenging, but recognize the long-term gain that can exist as a result of stepping into the short-term pain. You got this.